news, Suga announces he will be going on a diet despite already being underweight. This is one of my favorite recent paintings of yours because we have tulips in our yard and we have bees in our yard this spring, even though the last couple days been cold. It's so colorful though. And she painted it on twitch.tv slash hollybacklive. Did you guys watch it? She's streaming right now to K-pop music. Check the links top of the description or right here to join the fun and follow stuff on Twitch. I love how I don't have to say anything. Bravo. You just have to do the painting. <laughs> While in the Philippines for a recent concert, BTS members Suga and J-Hope went on their V app while they were having dinner and Suga explained that he needs to go on a diet. <laughs> but that's what happened. That is what happened. Though I, the first thing that I have to say is what is up with J-Hope's bucket hat? Bucket hats are back? What? You mean his Kango? Cause that's what it is. Is that is that what they were called? We just called them bucket hats. That's what LL Cool J used to wear. I think he still wears them. <laughs> Are they back? Are they cool again? This whole story stems from a 21 minute V app broadcast between Suga and J-Hope while they were eating dinner. Did you watch? I watched most of it. Okay, I watched pretty much the whole thing. There's a third person in the room because at one point near the beginning, they go to set the phone up so they can show the food and eat and chat for the viewers. But actually J-Hope just hands the camera to somebody else who's in the room because it's not still. And so there's at least three people there. It was very, very interesting to me because I never watched VF. This might've been the first time ever. <laughs> and I got to know them very well. Suga talks about himself and J-Hope talks to Suga about Suga. I mean, that's basically the whole 21 minute dynamic. Not that there's anything wrong with that, there's not, but that is how it was tilted, the conversation. It is nice to watch them sit and eat. Suga's basically telling everybody that he likes foods from around the world and Rat Monster doesn't. Rat Monster doesn't like spicy food, but Suga can eat anything. <laughs> well, Suga specifically likes high calorie food. <laughs> if it has a high calorie, then he wants to eat it because then it means it's more delicious. But things like chicken breast salad sounds terrible, so he doesn't want to eat it. Neither does sweet potatoes. And he's uh, so sad because he can't eat ice cream. And they were eating local Filipino cuisine while there, which was recommended to them by fans, I think. I don't remember the names of the two dishes. They had a soup and then they had a pork and chicken with garlic rice. I should remember the names. I'm sorry that I don't. Lapu Lapu. They kept saying it over and over. I'm like, everybody's going to know this dish now. It's a shrimp soup. It looked really good. And then they had melted ice cream. Well, mm. J-Hope had melted ice cream. Yeah, cause sugar's going on a diet. But the crux of it is when they take the camera back from the third person in the room, they flip the screen around, they hold it so they can see themselves while they're broadcasting. First of all, they had 400,000 plus people watching. A, just a basic conversation between the two of them about Filipino cuisine. 400,000 people are innocently in on their dinner. It's just unbelievable to me. It's very cool. I love that, hearing the numbers. But then when they're looking at the selfie of the image they're broadcasting, Suga is looking at himself and he sees his face as fat. I mean, that's how this happened. He's going, oh, wow. He's not even thinking about what anybody is watching. He's looking at himself and going, wow, my face is fat. And that's when I was like, oh, I get it. Koreans have this self-conscious thing about the size of their head. Maybe mm. everybody around the world does, but it is a thing in Korea. And Koreans, as thin as they wanna be and as thin as many of them are, they still have what some of would consider a pumpkin head. <laughs> like I remember students saying, my nickname is pumpkin head and pumpkin head was a like a semi-common nickname. Like I would have at least one student per semester nicknamed Pumpkinhead, because I would ask them to write nicknames and things like, like about themselves on the first day of school. And they would all hand it into me like some personal thing. So I would just get to know them a little bit as best I could. And someone was always named Pumpkinhead. <laughs> I'm just saying like, that's how, so, so like I, I literally made that connection when I saw, he totally clued out on everyone. He was looking at himself. Mm. And he doesn't have a fat head, by the way, Sugar. You have a normal head. Yeah. And you're not fat. And I'm not going to tell you what to do. You can go out and diet if you want. You should, of course, watch what you're eating. Everybody should. We shouldn't eat too much sugar. Everybody should just cut sugar out. <laughs> you're telling sugar. 
Sugar to cut Sugar out. Did you just realize what you said? No, but seriously, do you think Sugar has a weight problem? I don't think Sugar has a weight problem. I think that he might have a diet problem because he was saying that he likes high calorie foods and high calorie foods actually aren't good for you in the long run. They burn quickly and you don't end up with a lot of energy. And if you're going to have a very intense schedule, you probably shouldn't be living off of hot dogs and ice cream. I don't think that he was intending to refer to bad foods when he said high calorie foods. I don't think he was making the connection of those two things. I think he just meant a lot of food. He just is hungry because he's working, he's young, and he's burning through it with his metabolism. Well, that's what he was talking about. He eats a lot of bad foods when he gets hungry because they're there. Like there was a hot dog, he ate a third of the hot dog because he was hungry. There was snacks, he ate the snacks because he was hungry. It doesn't sound, for me, like watching it, that he has this idea of a bad diet. He's like, He's gonna be probably eating things like sweet potatoes and chicken breast salad, which to him isn't appealing, but is actually probably really good for him with the intense schedule that he has. He was eating a very healthy dinner, him and J-Hope. I was jealous, because <laughs> it looked so good. They just took me back to Korea when they were eating because they set up the app, they're just like casually talking, they start to eat, they're not, chowing their food down like Americans. Like Americans just, they just eat too fast. Sometimes I see mm. people here, I'm not saying Koreans are ideal and Americans are not, because there are some Koreans that you'll just see them just plowing food into their mouth. I liked how they were definitely sitting there being themselves though, because J-Hope was using chopsticks and Sugar was using a fork and they're eating the same, they were sharing both meals and yet they weren't even both using the same utensils. I did not catch that. I did not catch that Sugar was using a fork. Props to you. I think more than anything, when I watched this, I kind of got this idea, this impression that Sugar is getting to that age that we all experience or we all will experience where your diet and what you're eating, you start to notice that you're putting weight on even though you didn't put weight on a year ago for eating the same things. As he said, he's like, I'm still kind of underweight. I'm not, he's not trying to lose a ton of weight. He's just trying to look his optimal best in front of the camera, knowing that he's going to be on a big giant screen all over Asia, which has a much thinner mentality than for example, here in the US. Who here saw the V app broadcast of Sugar and J-Hope having dinner in the Philippines? Comments. Do you want to see more J-Hope and Sugar eat dinner together? Cause I know I do. Who thinks Sugar should go on a diet? Should he cut out the sugar? He should definitely <laughs> cut out the sugar. Comments below, let us know what you think. Click the like button. Thank you for supporting us. Click the bell for notifications. Check out the link to KGAL. Don't forget to subscribe for more Hollywood back news. That's it, we're out of here. Hasta luego. Bye. Quote of the day. Cut out the sugar, sugar. <laughs>